Welcome to the next episode of Decans with D. I am your host this afternoon. I am Dietmar Ostermann, and I'm the regular guy from Long Island. Cabernet Sauvignon is back from Napa Valley. My favorite wine, and as you know, my favorite valley. So I do every year a review of the recent releases of Cabernet Sauvignon. I did a 2013, a 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017. You can see the links below in the description of my video. Today we are reviewing the legendary vintage of 2018 in Napa Valley for Cabernet Sauvignon. I have selected for you three of my favorite from the 2018 vintage. And I capped it about $75 in price because as you all know, there's fantastic Napa Valley Cabernets at 100, 125, 150, even 200, 400, $500. But that's not affordable. So I'm focusing on more affordable Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley. And as you heard me say before, 2018 was an excellent vintage. 2016 arguably could have been better. James Suckling thinks so. Wine Spectator does not. Wine Spectator thinks that 2018 was better and gave the overall vintage in Napa for Cabernet Sauvignon 99 points. 16, 97 points. 2016 has more structure to it, so it will be more age worthy, and I reviewed it before. But 2018 is immediately approachable. You can drink it now, you don't have to store it away for two or three years, and the vintage is fabulous. 2017 wasn't as good, 2019 not quite as good, and 2020 will be a complete failure because of the wildfires and the harvest that went wrong. So let me introduce you the three candidates. Number one, a regular in my show, I like this wine a lot, is uh, Frank Family, Cabernet Sauvignon 2018. Frank Family is a big producer in Napa Valley. Okay, here we go. Fittingly, I have my favorite wine opener. This one is from the Barolo Museum in Italy. Cork comes right out. And ladies and gentlemen, I have with me in this show, as I have in every show, my longtime friend and partner, the Cork Owl. Okay, let's see what we can discover with the Frank family Cabernet. The colors as expected, dark ruby red. There are some significant Lines in the glass indicating high alcohol and high sugar content. And indeed, we have 14.5% alcohol. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Pronounced fruit of blackberry and uh, black currant. You can identify secondary notes in the nose like oak. Beautiful aromas, the wine is still fresh. So certainly decanting would help, but in order to save some time here in this show, I'm not decanting. Let's give it a whirl! The wine has a acidity rich biting blackberry fruit that uh, is pronounced in the mouth. Overall, the acidity is rich and in balance with the alcohol and the very low tannins. It's a full body wine. I do enjoy it and I give it a 4.3. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Frank family on Vivino is rated 4.4 on average. It costs $45. Wine Spectator hasn't rated yet. I'm anticipating a 93 score. Let's go to contestant number two the Dacon Cabernet Sauvignon 2018. 
That Cone is a regular in my show. I love this wine. I love the Merlots, but I like their Cabernets equally well. This wine retails for about $73. It is uh, a 4.4 .4 in Vivino as well, just like the Frank. And it's rated 93 points at Wine Spectator. Cork comes right out. And ladies and gentlemen, it is feeding time again. Cocao! <laughs> so the duck horn, recently the vineyard sold in an IPO, flushed in several hundred millions of dollars for the owners. 2018 obviously is prior to the IPO, so we'll see how this vineyard is doing, being publicly traded going forward. What do we see? Dark ruby red. No difference to the Frank family. Maybe a little bit more sparkly. The lines in the glass, maybe a tick less pronounced. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Dark blackberry and oaky aromas. Not dissimilar from the Frank family. A little bit dusty on the nose, but uh, less acidity in the nose. Let's give it a whirl. Extremely balanced. In addition to the blackberry aromas and flavors, I'm identifying some black cherry flavors in the wine. The wine still has, because it's young, some solid acidity, but very little tannins. That's why it's drinkable. Probably these 2018s will not last as long as 2016s, but right now approachable, whereas the 2016 probably is better off sitting another year in the glass. Overall, extremely balanced, high alcohol, high acidity, low tannins, full body. I give this wine a 4.5. Contestant number three, I'm very excited to try this wine. The Ghost Block. The Ghost Block is getting better and better and better every year. 2018 comes highly recommended. The Ghost Block also retails for about $73, even though I tried to go on Vivino recently and buy it, and it wasn't available for less than $99, so watch out for that. But normally average by 73, 4.6 rated on Vivino, and it got a legendary 95 score by the Wine Spectator. Cookout! <laughs> Let's check out this wine. Here we go, the Ghost Block. The color is uh, significantly darker. Uh, it is still a dark ruby red, not see-through see at all. Strong lines in the glass, indicating high alcohol content, 14.5% as well. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. The fruits are more laid back than in the other two Cabernets. Clearly also the typical Napa Valley blackberry fruit comes out but I can detect multifaceted aromas. There may be some vanilla in here. There's also some uh, wood, some oak in here. Let's give it a whirl. Full body wine, less acidity than the other two, medium acidity, medium tennis, more edge worthy. On the palate, blackberry, yes, Couple of other fruits, black currant, some vanilla, some oak, multifaceted. I like this wine the best. I'm giving the Ghost Block a 4.8, ladies and gentlemen. 4.8 in my rating. Better than the Amish Vivino at 4.6. And certainly, if you can get it for $73, I consider that a steal. So in closing, ladies and gentlemen, 2018 was an excellent vintage in Napa Valley. You need to get some 2018s. Here are three 
highly recommended mines out of many that made the cut but these are mines below $75 and out of the three tasted my top notch recommendation for today is the ghost block if you like this show please subscribe to my channel click on the like button and follow me on Vivino I'm a heavy wine radar on Vivino and I see you every Sunday, next Sunday at 12 o'clock.